What's going on, Facebook? It's been a while. Hope everybody's doing well. Go ahead and put in the chat where you're watching this from. I got a few things to share with you. Hope everybody's being safe. Hope everybody's doing well. Uh, right now, there's a lot of people living the dream in a quarantine. Go ahead and put in the chat if you're one of them. If you're living the dream in a quarantine, put in the chat. Go ahead and tell me where you're at uh, right now. What are you doing? How's your day going? How's your evening going? How's your afternoon going? We are expanding globally. So we see a lot of people from different parts of the world. What's going on, family? Ernie, how you doing, brother? Hope you're being safe out there on the road. We love you. Hope you're doing well. Say hi to the family for me, brother. All right, Whittier. Whittier, California in the house. Awesome, representing California. Beautiful. How's everybody doing out there? I'm going to put in the chat where you're calling in from. Where are you at? What are you doing? Melinda. How you doing, Melinda? Good to see you on here. What is this? Good day. Good day to you. Congratulations. I appreciate uh, everything you're doing as well. Very excited for you. It's beautiful, guys. A lot of stories, a lot of success stories are being created during these challenging times. But remember, what doesn't challenge you won't change you. So all you have to do is just adapt to the changes, make a little bit of a pivot, and you're going to see extraordinary success. What's going on, Jeanette Bush? Jeanette Bush representing Anaheim, California. All right, I love it. Going on set today. Beautiful. Man, I love how Facebook just puts everything in black font, and I'm wearing a black shirt, so I can't, I can't see anything. Uh, but it's all good. What's going on, guys? Hope everybody's doing well. Let's go. Let's go. Got to make that pivot. Uh, who's, ma who's making that pivot right now? Who's experiencing a lot of success right now during these challenging times? Go ahead and put that in the chat. Who's experiencing some challenging times right now? Put it in the chat. But if you're arising above the occasion, put that in the chat as well. How's everything going? I just want to check in on everybody. Hope everybody's doing well out there, being safe. Obviously, a lot of things going on around the world, but right now there's a lot of people living the dream in a quarantine. Man, what a 2020 this has been. I can't wait till 2021. All right, awesome. What do we got here? <laughs> All right, Marianne, I see you. No problem. No problem. Just talking to the people. Uh, yes, we're having a big call tonight. Big call, big call. With uh, three-time NBA Laker champion, may know him as an Iron Man, Mr. A.C. Green. Been working with him since April. Like I said, been living the dream in the quarantine. I've been busy. Every day is flying by. I should change my team name from Team CGP to Team No Sleep. It's nobody sleeps. It's crazy. Rising above. That's right. Rising above the occasion, right? I always say, if it's not you, then who? If it's not now, then when? And if it's not this, then what? Right, whatever the options do you have out there. So, you know, a lot of opportunities, but remember, opportunities never go away, they just go to the next person. So, uh, go ahead and put in the chat, guys, where you're calling in from. Different parts of the world should be on here. Hello, Yifan. Awesome. Great to see everybody on here. Very cool. Awesome. Go ahead and put in the chat. How's how's everybody doing? What are you guys up to? I'm just checking in, make sure everybody's doing well. You know, obviously, it's been some uh, interesting times since the uh, pandemic began. I think that those of us that are uh, rising above the occasion, they always say the most beautiful things rise from ashes. And I think right now, uh, in times of crisis, if you can find a solution for the masses, you'll achieve incredible amount of success. And that is so true uh, because you want to make sure that you change as many lives as possible. Like, for example, every day or actually every night when I set my alarm clock, uh, maybe four or five hours of sleep is all I'm getting lately because of the momentum that we have going on with my championship team. Um, I set my alarm clock for a certain time, wearing my eye watch, right? Uh, and at the end of the day, um, for some reason, I just keep waking up before my alarm clock goes off. And I have a feeling that's just passion, right? That's just passionate about what you're doing. They always say success without fulfillment is ultimate failure. And that's true because if you don't have a sense of fulfillment, then you're not excited. You're not passionate. And so you're kind of just floating by, right? You're just kind of getting by. You're not really 
passionate. You're not fired up, right? You're not motivated or driven to do anything. You're just kind of getting through the day, right? I've been there before, been a Lyft driver, been an Uber driver. And there wasn't one day that I woke up and said, Woo! can't wait to pick up more customers. You know, I uh, always woke up just saying, you know what? I have to do what I have to do to you know, put food on the table for my family and make sure I do whatever I need to do to pay the bills. But I didn't have that sense of fulfillment. You know what I mean? I had to put on that smile. I had to make sure I give customers a rating experience because if I didn't give them a good experience, I was being dinged as a driver. Um, and so lately, living the dream in a quarantine, my life has changed completely. My life has transformed. I've always been in uh, this arena. I've always been in relationship marketing. I uh, always have. I always felt like the greatest equities in life are the relationships we build along the way of this journey. And I've always read so many success stories. I've always seen so many people make it to the top, you know, and they started from nowhere. And that was inspiring to me because it reminded me that it is possible, right? It is possible. And if you take the two first letters in the word impossible, it's I am. So I started switching my mentality and I said, if I think it's impossible, then I have to start thinking that I am possible. Are you guys starting to see the connection there? So instead of looking at other people and living in envy, I looked at them and said, that inspires me and I'm going to go ahead and create my own success story because in this business, it's all about transformation. See, the problem is some people look at business like transactions. I look at this like transformation. I wake up every single day before my alarm clock because I wake up with a passion and a purpose to go change as many lives as possible. And I've been very, very blessed. I'm very humble and very grateful. I don't drive for Uber and Lyft anymore. As a matter of fact, I'm helping people create four and five figures a month in a pre-launch uh, in this uh, platform, this amazing, amazing platform in a company that's backed by a multi, multi-billionaire that is on a mission to create 3 million jobs. And so I measure my success by how many people I can go and bless. That's it, bottom line. And so it's funny, I'm doing a Zoom call for Uganda or I'm doing a Zoom call for the Philippines or I'm doing a Zoom call for the UK or Mexico and, and, and I have my alarm clock going off and I'm like, oh, hold on, let me go turn that off. Because I woke up with a passion and a purpose you know, if you wake up before your alarm clock, that means you're in the right business. And if your heart is in your business and your business is in your heart, you're in the right company. And so all I have to tell you guys is right now, if you're going through challenging times, just understand that that is what shapes our overall character. I've, I've been through those times. Trust me, I've been there before. Uh, there's been a lot of times where I said, you know what, instead of being here driving for Uber and Lyft or being at this stupid factory job or you know, taking orders uh, in a cubicle, I'd rather be at home with my wife and kids because the most important currency of our lives is time. Because time is something we can never get back. And the sooner you can go ahead and start building your legacy, the sooner you will achieve two things, financial freedom and time freedom, yes or yes. Time freedom and financial freedom are the two things that we're all trying to achieve. And the sooner that you can position because those are my kids in the background, again, living the dream in a quarantine. This is exactly where I've always wanted to be. I was just never in the right vehicle to take me to that point in my life. Now I am. And I've done it in six months. Now my overall goal, my goal is this. I am humbled and I'm grateful to be in the position that I'm at as an executive gamer. However, I am not going to stop. I am more driven and more motivated than I ever have been because of the text messages, the phone calls, the Facebook messages, the, the everything that I get from my team saying, thank you so much. I was able to fire my boss. Thank you so much. I was able to quit my job after 20 years of being there. You have positioned me in a company where now I can earn more than I was at my full-time job. Thank you so much, Rudy. That right there is true success. When you can go and help as many other people get what they want, you'll achieve everything you want. And that is a quote by the great Zig Ziglar. What I have to tell you guys is that 
Uber wasn't the vehicle that I needed to be in to achieve all my dreams, goals, and aspirations. The vehicle I needed to be in is the one that I'm in right now. Living the dream in a quarantine, building a championship team with none other than three-time NBA Laker champion and our CEO, Coach AC Green. That is it. That is all we ever need in life is to be able to have somebody say, Rudy, I need you to take a look at this. And it's all about timing in people's lives. I always said that the T in timing is more important than the T in telling. Why do I say that? Because it doesn't matter what we've done in the past. It doesn't matter what never worked out. It doesn't matter what you've been in and it never, it never panned out to your plans. Because remember, life happens for you and not to you. Remember that. Life happens for you and not to you. Okay? The thing is that I've been in so many <laughs> different opportunities. I've lost count on my fingers and that's okay because in life we never fail we either win or we learn and i take all those experiences put them all in a little box and said i've learned from these experiences and i can't wait i can't wait for my season and my season is right here right now during a pandemic amidst crisis because when you can rise above the occasion and you can find a solution for the masses during crisis you will achieve incredible amount of success. Think about it. Okay? History repeats itself. We hear that all the time, but what do what do you, what do people mean by that? Well, let's take a look at the Great Depression. What happened during the Great Depression? Factory jobs were created. My mom and my dad, my grandparents, they all have jobs because of those entrepreneurs, outside of the box thinkers, forward thinkers, visionaries kind of raise, rise above that occasion and created tons of jobs during the most challenging times. Now and again, 2008 market crash, what happened? History repeated itself. You had companies like PayPal, Uber, Netflix, Airbnb, Postmates, just to name a few that rise above the occasion and were created to create all these extra income opportunities for people like you and me during a midst of crisis. In 2008, when the market crashed, what happened? All these jobs started formulating all these opportunities and new platforms because visionaries and entrepreneurs were able to take an idea, think outside the box, and create a platform for people to benefit from. Yes or yes. Now what we're looking at today is the 2020. It's all part of a plan. It's all part of the pattern. And it's up to you to decide what you're going to do with this time that we're in. Right now, we can choose to play video games endlessly. We can choose to watch Netflix endlessly. We can choose to work out endlessly. We can choose to go to that job, that J-O-B, to work endlessly. Or you can choose to do something different outside of the box and be a forward thinker, a visionary. And I've always said action takers are money makers. If there's something that's been brought to you today, take action now. Not later, not next week, not next month, not next year right now because you're going to miss the boat and i'm not talking about one industry because there's a lot of different industries out there that are thriving that are doing extremely well and we haven't seen the bottom yet when we see the bottom that's when we're going to see incredible growth that's when we're going to see so many success stories and that's when we're going to see a new generation of wealth being created bottom line that's it and so as you're you know, going through life, okay, as you're going through life, anybody that shares an opportunity with you, I highly recommend looking at it with an open mind. They always say your mind works like a parachute. It only works when it's open, okay? And that is so true. Look at it with an open mind. Think about it from a different perspective because right now there's an abundance, an abundance of opportunities out there, but you have to choose the one that works for you. The real estate space, the food business, concierge businesses, e-commerce business, drop shipping, esports, gaming, networking. I don't know. Whatever opportunities are in front of you right now, pounce on that opportunity, capitalize on it, and then create a success story of your own. That's all you have to do. Because one thing that the common denominator is for everybody right now is everyone is looking for a solution of income. Now, I just gave a presentation to three CEOs, 
three CEOs of three different companies. They're all friends. And you know what the common denominator was? They're losing people. You know why they're losing people? Because they have something called a monthly membership. There's something called a monthly fee. There are people out there scrounging and looking and scraping to pay bills and get by. They're waiting for the next stimulus check. People are throwing up their hands and saying, what's next? Guys, right now, the same thing for these three CEOs. They said, you have something that's so powerful, so significant, so much more bigger than anything else that I've ever seen in my 45 years of experience. Mind you, I wasn't even born yet, so that means he's seen a lot more than I have. And they said, you're sitting on a gold mine. We love to do business with you, and we want to migrate our whole entire membership into your organization. I said, hallelujah. My job is done for today because now I've been able to measure my success by how many people I can bless. Their business is going downhill because of a membership. Can you blame them? Most people are deciding, do I pay for a monthly membership or do I put food on the table for my family or do I pay my light bill to keep the lights on? That's really the decisions people are making right now. You know, that's the, that's the hard truth reality is that over 54 million Americans are unemployed. Let's not even factor in all the international uh, people that are being impacted as well. And so we have a global opportunity without a monthly membership. And that is something that create a success story of your own. Again, if not you, then who? If not now, then when? And if not this, then what? If you've been opportunity, if you've been invited to something, check it out. That's all you have to do because at least that person had the love and abundance and they're coming from a place of making sure that they help you. Okay, they always say success leaves clues. And so whoever invited you to any opportunity whatsoever, you should definitely take a look at it. Gold, silver, Forex, gaming, esports, e-commerce, I've seen everything in the sun, well, here under the sun, but here's the thing. I've never seen anything like this before in the esports arena. Never, never in my life. Here's some fun facts. Are you ready for this? There are video games that have outperformed NASDAQ. There are more games generating billions of dollars in revenue that have outperformed NASDAQ in 2020. When times are good, video games are good. Esports is good. When times are bad, video games and esports are still good. Get and position yourself in a recession proof business model and pivot. Make that small pivot. Okay? Pain is temporary, but regret is forever. We've heard that before. 77% of the world's population are playing video games right now and esports, online competitive video gaming, online casinos, virtual reality, right? Virtual, virtual, digital business, blockchain, crypto. You guys hear me loud and clear? Do you guys hear me loud and clear? 77% of the world's population are playing video games. Since the pandemic, 82% of the of the world's population have seen an increase in video game activity. I want to, I want to jump in the pool. You want to jump in the pool? Mm -hmm. Wait until I'm done and then we'll go in the pool. Okay, say hi. Hi. <laughs> All right, cool. Guess again, 77% of the world's population playing video games. Since the pandemic, increase of 82% people playing video games. What are your kids doing right now? Probably playing roadblocks. What are you doing on your phone after this live? Probably playing Candy Crush. Maybe playing Solitaire. If you have a game on your phone, if you have a game on your tablet, congratulations, you're a gamer. This is a worldwide phenomenon, okay? You don't have to take my word for it. Documentation beats conversation all day long, okay? 77% of the world's population playing video games, and in every household, there's at least one gamer, Fortnite, $1.8 billion in revenue. One of the most popular games out there. How about uh, World of Warcraft, League of Legends, esports, esports, esports. I can't stress to you guys enough how important it is to start digging and research everything you need to know about esports. Do you know there's games that are out there that are being sponsored for players to play the game 
and be uh, earn annual salary. They go to boot camp. They're sponsored by companies. They get all this gear. They're earning money playing video games. Who would have thought? Like I was born in '85. Who would have thought that gaming would have been turned into a full time career in 2020? Hello, are you kidding me? And we're still in its infancy stages on an incredible spike. We haven't seen anything yet. And then when you look at the education side, this is where I'm most proud of. Those of you guys that know AC Green, a community leader of one of the most beautiful human beings on and off the court, but has the mindset of a beast, okay? He does not play around. He has he is on a mission right now to change everybody on an educational level, okay? I'm a part of a project with my amazing education committee. Big shout out to Randolph Simpson, Brother Jerome Carter, Brother Cecil McLynn, okay? Then with Schmoop, if you guys don't know Schmoop, we just did a press release. We're working with school districts, the AC Green Esports Academy, where now we can work with school systems, help your kids learn more about blockchain technology, e-commerce, arbitrage drop shipping, education, uh, uh, character building, college preparation, teach your kids entrepreneurship, teach your kids how to be the best person they can be in life, teaching kids um, uh, social media marketing, internet marketing, digital marketing, teaching your kids everything they need to know that they can apply in real life, okay? Because I don't agree with my five and six year old being handed a packet from their teachers what are you going to take away from a packet? Again, it all depends on where you come from and your all educational beliefs. But there are things out there right now that your kids should know about, like blockchain, like cryptocurrency, like all kinds of different things. And now I'm working with AC Green on this special project where now we're working with school districts to teach our students all these important applications in life. And they can choose what they want to learn. How about teaching your kids how to program video games? Do you know hundreds of billions of dollars have been uh, generated in the industry just from video game developers? What if you could teach your kids that at an early age? That is true education. That is what we're talking about, adding value. So as school systems are losing revenue, they're losing students, because I don't know about you guys, my kids are supposed to be on a laptop for eight hours. That is not going to happen, okay? We get them on there when we can. They maybe get like one or two hour break in between, but there's so many distractions. You know, you have video games, you have uh, playgrounds, you have all kinds of stuff that they want to do. I mean, you guys know, if you're a parent, you, know, you guys know what I'm talking about, okay? There's all kinds of stuff happening in your household right now. How can you even keep your kid's attention on a laptop for eight hours and then get credit on that? doesn't make any sense. What if your kids can play games? Watch me now. Ready? What if your kids can play video games? It's monetized. And that the hours that they're playing and they're spending playing video games while they're earning real education, learning real applications that they can apply in life. Okay. And as they earn, you ready for this? As they earn credits that are played on the game, those credits are pushing and generating revenue for the schools. And in return, the schools are going to turn around and our company will turn around and reward these students with scholarships if they're really good at video games. How about rewarding them with school credits, school tuition, school supplies? That is what's going to motivate these kids. Think about the inner cities, no matter where you are. Think about the inner cities and the type of education levels that they're getting right now. The, the former educators that I'm working with, the board of advisory board, the advisory board members that I'm working with, they all say the same thing. These kids are not being taught anything. We need to show them true value. We need to add more value into their lives. So I'm really proud of this AC Green Esports Academy. That's why our business is thriving because I've said it and I'll say it again. When you can find a solution for the masses, you'll achieve incredible amount of success during crisis. Schools are shutting down. Schools aren't opening up. I just heard from Long Beach Unified. They're not opening up until January 28th. Are you kidding? 
right now we have an opportunity of a lifetime in the esports arena. Now, whatever you're doing, that's great. Keep it going. Be the best person you can be today than you were yesterday so you can continue mastering your craft and being the best person you can be tomorrow. But if you want to poise and be poised and positioned for incredible amount of growth, incredible amount of success, look into esports. Look at what we're doing in the esports academy with AC Green powered by our company. And the beautiful part about it is there's record breaking income already being generated in a pre launch. Okay? We haven't even launched. And there's a lot of people earning record breaking income because you know why? There's three things. All you have to do, no matter which business you're in, is hustle, grind, and execute. That's it. If you have a blueprint and then you're given an opportunity, just like anything else in entrepreneurship, you jump in and you figure it out along the way. Bottom line, that's it. And so I'm really proud. I'm humble. I'm grateful. I'll never have to get another job for the rest of my life. My life has changed and I'm very proud of my whole entire team. 4,600 members in six months, 17 different countries. Big shout out to everybody on my team. Big shout out to all the people in the company making it happen. Right? There's those that make excuses and there's ones that make it happen. I'm very excited for our future. I'm very excited to meet everybody in person. I can't wait until this pandemic. You guys see what I did there? This pandemic is over with. So I can get on a plane and go visit every single one of these countries and give all of you a big hug. Because yes, we're living the dream in a quarantine, but the real mission and the real vision is to change as many lives as possible through this platform. And I'm so proud and excited about what's happening right now in amidst a crisis. That's it. Bottom line, guys. I can't wait to see all of you in person. I can't wait to see all of you create your own success stories because right now, this is the time to capitalize. This is the time to really make that change, make that pivot. That's all you have to do because I've talked to almost everybody, all types of walk of life. Do you know what the common denominator is? They're not having the success that they want. They're not achieving what they want right now. Where they saw themselves beginning of 2020, where we are today, they're not where they wanted to be. Doctors, lawyers, real estate, marketers, uh, <laughs> e-commerce gurus, uh, you know, any, anybody, it doesn't matter, life insurance. One thing that people don't know about me, I am a licensed California agent. I can go and sell a policy for life accidental and uh, health. Life accidental and health. I could go and sell policies for all three right now if I wanted to, but I don't want to. Do you know why? Because success without fulfillment is ultimate failure. I was not happy. Deep down inside, I was not happy doing it. It wasn't a fun conversation. I'm literally talking to people about preparing for their demise, which is important. I'm not, I'm not, you know, I, I backed that whole entire industry up. I believe in life insurance. I truly believe in it, but I was not happy because I wasn't seeing the results and my team wasn't seeing the results and it was a lot of work. You had to go and get a license. You had to get certified. You had to go through courses. You had to get trained. You had to do this and that hoops, hurdles, auditions. Oh, and then when you finally get a prospect, and by the way, I'm not bashing the industry, I'm just sharing my story. When you finally get a prospect, when you finally get that person that says, you know what, I like what I hear, but let me go talk to my wife, let me go talk to my husband, let me go talk to my kids, and you have to follow up with them. And then they say, you know what, let's go ahead and do it. So you spend another two or three hours signing up this policy, right? Writing up this policy and then you got to submit it and then you're praying to God to get approved, right? Because of their health conditions or anything else in their history. And then at the end of the day, I finally get that commission that I worked so hard for just to find out at the end of the month, I'm getting a charge back. To me, that is not success. And that's just one industry that I'm talking about. Again, I'm not bashing it. I'm sharing my story. That's why I'm not doing what I'm doing. Uber, same thing. I wasn't excited picking up strangers every day. 
I'd rather be at home with my wife and kids like I am right now instead of dealing with all these crazy passengers, getting in close call car accidents, being gouged by Uber and Lyft for their stupid fees and being at the gas station almost every six hours being on the road. It was ridiculous. Again, success without fulfillment is ultimate failure. I was not happy doing what I was doing. So I started educating myself on opportunity in an industry known as esports. And I started soaking in as much as I possibly could. I started seeing success right off the bat. No trainings, no, uh, no licenses, no certifications, uh, no, none of that. No hoops and hurdles. It was video games. It was sharing the opportunity with people. And it was making money. That's it. We're simply having fun, making money, building relationships, and of course, supporting each other because when you can go help everybody achieve time and time and financial freedom you will achieve the same thing bottom line that's it so again my message to you during a time of crisis during a time of challenging uh, obstacles that are here with us there are people waiting for a stimulus package and there are people on my team that are earning a stimulus every single day in a pre-launch. They're not waiting for that check. They're not waiting for that next deposit. They're not waiting for that phone call from their boss and saying, you know what? Don't come back to work tomorrow because we're no longer in business. We're laying people off. They're not waiting for those calls. They're taking action right now. They're doing everything they can to create their own economy within their own household and create the results that they want in a pre-launch because when you're backed by a multi, multi-billion dollar company, it makes a world of a difference. And trust me, we're on a mission to create 3 million jobs. So if you're in it to win it, if you're open-minded, what I want you to do, because this is not about me, this is about my team, go ahead and put in the chat right now, put eSports. Put eSports in this chat, whether you're watching this live or whether you're watching a replay, put Esports in the chat, and I will make sure one of my amazing business partners, one of my amazing planet uh, partners, that's all I'm not going to give away the name, all right? But what I want you to do is put esports in the chat, and then I'm going to make sure that everybody gets connected. Someone is going to end up with someone on someone's team. Bottom line, that's it. So it's not about me, it's about you guys. It's about you winning. Without my team, I would not be here. So if you're interested in learning what I'm doing every single day, earning record-breaking income and helping other people achieve record-breaking income with no membership, no fee, that is so extraordinary. Because what am I gonna do? Am I gonna choose to keep my Netflix membership or am I gonna pay my light bill? That's what people are asking themselves right now. So if you guys want to learn a little bit more what I'm doing, put eSports in the chat. And then I'm going to connect you with that person so you can be on the team. So you can be here on the championship team, get your championship ring, and also build a team with AC Green, living the dream in a quarantine. That's right. I'm a poet and I didn't know it. All right, guys. Awesome. Whatever you're doing, make sure you hustle, grind, and execute. My name is Rudy Salaya, your mogul warrior here from uh, Orange County, California. Almost gave away the name of the company. Let's go. Let's get it. All the Saponians, make some noise. Put it in the chat. Esports, esports, esports. Let's go. Let's get it. Let's build this legacy. If not now, then when? If not you, then who? And if not this, then what? We'll see you all at the top. Love you all.